once you have decided to undergo a bariatric surgery the next question is whether to undergo a sleeve gastrectomy surgery or a gastric bypass surgery let me be very clear at the beginning of the video itself that both these surgeries are a valid option for most of the patients who are undergoing a weight loss surgery both these surgeries a sleeve gastrectomy and a gastric bypass surgery are excellent surgeries very standard surgeries giving excellent outcomes but each one of them having their own advantages and disadvantages so in this video i will be discussing with you the benefits and disadvantages of each of this procedure so that at the end of the video you are well equipped to make a better decision for yourself under the guidance of your surgeon So let's first talk about a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy. In a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy surgery, we remove a part of your stomach, making the stomach into a thin narrow tube which makes the food go to the intestine a little faster than normal. With the reduction in the quantity of food that you can eat and the gut hormonal changes that occurs because of the removed part of stomach and the food going early to the intestine. all these things combinedly help you lose weight and improve your metabolism laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is a comparatively simpler procedure in technical terms making lesser changes in your digestive system and thus your overall physiology of your body this in itself is one of the advantage of a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy because of lesser changes in your digestive system the chances of malnutrition that is deficiency of uh, vitamins iron and proteins are lesser compared to a laparoscopic gastric surgery after a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy the access to the stomach and the first part of the intestine that is the duodenum with the help of an endoscope is always available which is an another advantage of a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy so let's discuss now what are the disadvantages of a sleeve gastrectomy if we talk about weight loss and maintenance of weight loss over a long period of time the outcomes are a bit inferior compared to a gastric bypass surgery making it a less preferred option for those patients whose bmi is more than 45 or 50 the outcomes in terms of improvement in diabetes and high cholesterol or lipid changes what we call metabolic problems is also inferior compared to a gastric bypass surgery hence it is a less preferable option for all those patients who are having severe diabetes or diabetes for many years and in whom improvement in diabetes is also our important goal one of the important complication or side effect of a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is acid reflux which more occurs during the initial few months after the surgery and hence those patients who are already having acid reflux prior to a bariatric surgery or those who are having a hiatus hernia on endoscopy prior to a bariatric surgery in all such patients a sleeve gastrectomy is a poor choice and a roux and y gastric bypass would be an ideal choice for all such patients now let's talk about a laparoscopic gastric bypass surgery In a gastric bypass surgery a pouch is created from the upper part of your stomach and intestine is joined to that stomach pouch and the majority of your stomach and the initial part of your intestine is bypassed that means it remains inside but is put out of use a gastric bypass surgery is a technically more complex surgery it makes a significant changes in your digestive system and hence your body physiology but again gastric bypass surgery is a more powerful bariatric surgery a more powerful tool to make you lose weight 
and make improvements in your uh, metabolic problems like diabetes, high cholesterol, etc. So the main advantage of gastric bypass surgery is that it helps us achieve more weight loss in patients who are having a very high BMI, BMI of more than 50, 55, 60. And it also helps in a long-term sustenance of the weight loss. Similar to the weight loss, it is also a powerful tool to get improvement in our metabolic problems. And for all those patients who are having severe diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes or diabetes for a very long time, bypass surgery gives a better improvement in diabetes over a long period of time compared to a CU case technology surgery. As we have discussed in this video previously, all those patients who are suffering from acid reflux and GERD or are having hiatus hernia prior to bariatric surgery, a gastric bypass surgery is a more preferred option because a laparoscopic roux and y gastric bypass is in itself one of the treatment of acid reflux. Now let's discuss what are the disadvantages of a laparoscopic gastric bypass surgery. As previously said, it is a more complex surgery, making more significant changes in your digestive system and your body physiology. And so after a gastric bypass surgery, there are more chances of malnutrition, that is uh, more chances of vitamin deficiency, iron deficiency, protein deficiency, osteoporosis, etc. And hence, the patients who undergo a gastric bypass surgery should be more disciplined in taking their supplements in the regular follow-ups to the bariatric team and the regular blood tests. One another disadvantage is that a routine endoscopic examination of the remaining part of your stomach is not possible after a gastric bypass surgery if needed for any other problems. There are certain complications also very specific to gastric bypass surgery which doesn't occur in patients of gastric sleeve surgery. These complications are dumping syndrome, anastomotic ulcers and internal hernias which although very rare when occurs in any patient may need specific treatment or even surgical intervention. Very specific to these uh, anastomotic ulcers, those patients who are regular smokers are at a higher risk of these anastomotic ulcers and hence all those patients who are smoking regularly and are less likely to quit smoking after surgery should uh, consider a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy rather than a gastric bypass surgery. Similarly, all those patients who are regularly consuming alcohol and are less likely to quit alcohol, for them also, a sleeve gastrectomy would be a more preferred option compared to a laparoscopic gastric bypass. Those patients who are having chronic liver disease, either because of alcohol or for any other reasons, or those who are having very higher stages of uh, fatty liver, in those patients also, at times, a uh, sleeve gastrectomy is a more preferred option compared to the gastric bypass, because in some of these patients, the liver function deteriorates at a faster rate after a bypass surgery. Overwhelmed and confused with a lot of information? Let me summarize all this above information for you in brief. Ideally, the decision whether to undergo a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy or a gastric bypass surgery should be taken by you and your surgeon uh, after a thorough discussion. But the surgeon will uh, help you understand what are the advantages and disadvantages of each procedure in your case and you discussing your preference and what are your expectations from the surgeon. And finally, the decision is taken 
after taking into consideration your age, your uh, weight and BMI, your other medical problems, whether you are a regular smoker and regularly consuming alcohol or not, and what are your expectations from this cell. In short, a laparoscopic sleeve gastrectomy is more preferable for uh, younger patients whose BMI is uh, less than 45 who are not having medical problems especially metabolic problems like diabetes and cholesterol who are uh, not having uh, acid reflux problems especially for young females who are uh, likely to plan a pregnancy later in future while uh, gastric bypass surgery is uh, more preferable for patients who are with uh, higher BMI, BMI more than uh, 50, 55, 60, those who are having metabolic problems like diabetes and cholesterol, who are uh, having acid reflux problems. Again, those who are regularly smoking and uh, taking alcohol and less likely to quit, sleeve gastrectomy is again a preferred option for them. Hope this was helpful. And feel free to contact our team if you need any further guidance so that you can make a proper decision for yourself.